Hey beauties, Katie here, and today I am bringing you an awesome review slash haul video. And this haul slash review video comes from MAC. Can y'all guess what's in here? Uh huh. Well, technically not in here right now, it's out in front of me. But guess what was in here? Well, what was in here was the Rocky Horror Picture Show collection. And crazy thing. I woke up really, really early to take my fiance to work, and then I drove like an hour away, so altogether like an hour and a half away from where I live, to go to my nearest Mac store and pick up this collection because it sold out online in about five minutes. So I was first in line there, thank goodness, because after I finished checking out, a horde of people came in. but. I got all my stuff and as you can see I did a tutorial using it so this look will be up here later this week so I'm gonna get into showing y'all everything and I really hope y'all like it so if you want to see everything I got and see some swatches just hang on okay so the first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the little less exciting things and work up to the bigger things that we're really, really hyped about. So the first thing is this. This is the Invisible Setting Powder and I believe this, um, you can get it anytime, but I got it for the packaging. So it's that and it's just a really finely milled white slash translucent little translucent translucent slash slash invisible powder um i really like it i'm wearing it today of course and it's just it's so finely milled and it makes oh it makes you your skin feel so velvety smooth it's awesome i definitely prefer prefer this over my makeup forever hd powder okay Ooh. The next thing, I only got one of these. Um, it's one of the MAC Grease Paint Sticks, and I got it in the color B, which is a navy blue with some glitter in it. And it doesn't have the Rocky Horror Picture Show lips on it, but um, this did come out with the collection. I don't think they have it um, all the time. But this is what it looks like. It's just a thin pointed stick. And I'll do a little swatchy swatchy here for you. We'll zoom you in a bit. So there's the color and that's what the stick looks like. Just a navy color. It's nice. Um, it's, pretty, it's waterproof. It hasn't run on me yet. Of course I haven't used it in my waterline. Um, the people at MAC swore to me that it was waterproof and even the Urban Decay 24-7 liners run on my watery guys. So I'm hoping it doesn't run on me if I use it in my waterline, but I did use it as a base for my eyeshadow today. The next thing I got are the, a pair of the false lashes. These, of course, are MAC number 7 lashes. This is what they look like. They're just nice, kind of natural cat eye shape lashes. Now they do sell these in their permanent collection, but of course, everybody knows the packaging on these is reusable and they're awesome. And it's even more awesome because it had the Rocky Horror Picture Show logo on it. So I had to get it. I will be telling you I just had to get it because of the logo a lot. Actually, no, that's the last one I just had to get because of the logo. But, okay. The next thing I got is the um, Sculpt and Shape Powder. This is the compact, and it's got a little button you push, and it just pops open. And there's that. Those are the colors. They're in Bone Beige and Emphasize. And I'll zoom in and do little swatches here. Those are the swatches on my fingers get that in focus for you and that's what it looks like on my hand and they're actually really good colors for us really pale people I loved using um, it to contour and highlight my face my face looks amazing right now and I love it the next thing is oh let me 
that off so I can swatch some more is the MAC Rocky Horror Picture Show blush and this is in Crazed Imagination and here's the color I feel like I should just stay zoomed in for you right now this is the color it looks like a plummy mauve and it's got a slight shimmer to it and like it's not a super super pigmented blush like you don't get a whole lot of it but it's really buildable it's just it's such a pretty color it's muted and it's not bright but it's just it'll just bring out your contour and it gives you that nice just like glowing rosy type cheek like dusty rose cheek I just I love it I can't get enough of it okay the next thing is of course I got I just got one of the glitters this is a the glitter in 3d black I believe this is also available in the permanent collection just without the um logo on it and I have used this I used this on my winged liner and I'll just dip my finger into it slightly and show you a the pretty glitter there we go you might be able to see it a little better there hope y'all can see the shine from that but um it's it's more it's not like a black glitter that reflects different colored sparkles it's just a black glitter with bigger, chunkier, holographic glitter in it. But I like it. I do. So I got that. I didn't get the gold one. Um, the next thing I got was the pigment. And it is called It's Not Easy Having a Good Time. And now this pigment, I do believe, is just a limited edition to this collection. And it is so pretty. I smudged it out under my lower um, lashes today and it's just it's gorgeous I love that I can just pop the little top off and it just has some on there and I can just press my press my brush onto it look how pretty that is and then I'll just rub it out for you look at that look at that sheen it is so pretty I can't get enough of this pigment it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I've got to say, I love matte pigments. Of course, the only pigments I have are about eight years old. But from what I can tell, the formulation of them have improved. And they're not as um, chunky or, like, chunky as they used to be. But it is awesome. It's smooth. It's highly pigmented. Because, of course, it's a pigment. But, yeah, there's that. And then... I got both of the nail polishes here. This is Bad Fairy and this is Formidable. Bad Fairy is limited edition to the Rocky Horror Show picture, Rocky Horror Picture Show collection, but Formidable is available in the permanent collection just without the logo again. And I just I had to get these cuz they're so pretty and it was only a like a dollar 50 more than um the regular polishes so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and get it with the logo on it because I can't resist it and I'm actually wearing them on my fingers today this is formidable on my fingers and then this is bad fairy and I really really love these colors they are just they're terrific now the next thing is this this is the riffraff eyeshadow palette and I absolutely love this palette it is amazing um, it's got got the magnetic closure on it so it closes really nicely it's got a little lip on it so you can actually open it and grab it without just like clawing at it and these are the eyeshadows the eyeshadow colors are oh rocky crystal blackberry graphic style heavy black and pendulous and carbon wait hang on maybe i got that mixed up oh yes th this is heavy black and pendulous sorry but there's that and right now i'm going to uh, insert a picture of the swatches here 
This first picture it is with flash and the second picture will be without flash. From top, from my wrist to the bottom, the colors go Oraki, Crystal, Blackberry, Graphic Style, Heavy, Black, and Pendulous, and then Carbon. And now the last things that I got. Drum roll. I got all four of the lipsticks and I'm wearing Frankenfurter on my lips right now and it's amazing so I'm going to go ahead and swatch these and show you them. Um, this is the packaging. I believe this is normal um, MAC lipstick packaging just with the Rocky Horror Picture Show logo on it. Very cute. And this is the color Sin. Let me get you swatched. There's Sin. It's a really dark wine color, I would call it. It's just, it's so pretty. Um, it's kind of like a Merlot color. And that is a matte formula. The next one I have here is Frankenfurter, which is also a matte formula. Now this is the truest red of the bunch, I would say. It's definitely got the blue undertone. And it's the truest red, I would say, because it does have that blue undertone. And it's not super bright. So it's definitely the most wearable red for every skin tone, I would say. The next one I have here is Strange Journey, which is also a matte. And now this is the orangey, the orangiest one. Um, there it is. It's definitely a beautiful color. It is so pretty. And it's, it's that orange that will look really good on like medium, like light to medium skin tones. I think if you're super dark or more of an olivey skin tone, I don't know if it's going to play too well on your face, but I don't make makeup rules. I say if you want to wear it, you wear it, so go for it. I'm just spouting my opinions and what I've heard. So yeah. The last lipstick here is Oblivion, which is an amplified formula, so it is going to be glossier. And it's the lightest blue-based red. That's right there. It's more, it looks more of like a pinky red swatched, and that's it. It's really pretty, and I believe this one's going to look good on almost any skin tone as well just because it is that blue based red and this one you can sheer it out really you can just like really sheer it out or you can really pile it on and if you wear a lip liner with it it'll just make it more pigmented so there's those and I'm gonna zoom you back out okay no one more thing I'm going to show you the inside of the boxes. They are super cute. I like showing this box because you can actually open it and really see inside it. Can you see all the faces? Because we've got Frankenfurter and we've got Magenta and we've got Audi, Audi Dance, the Transylvanians and then we have Brad and Riff Raff. Um, I believe right they don't have Columbia in here they don't I don't see it oh oh no nope, no nope. there she is there's Columbia and then do we have Janet I don't think we have a Janet in here I don't see a Janet I don't see a meatloaf either oh that makes me sad but either way there's all of them there and yeah that's the end of this little haul slash review slash first impressions thing 
Um, I really hope y'all liked it, and if you got your hands on any of this collection, I would love to know what you think about it. Just leave the leave what you want to say in the comments below, and if you've made a video using these in a tutorial or reviewing them, link them in the comments below. I would love to go and watch them. I love watching um, the videos my viewers make. It's just, it, it makes me happy. So that's going to be it for today. I really hope y'all liked this video. Don't forget, in the description box, always, there are links to all my social media sites. Social media sites. And um, just go click them, follow me, like the pages. Let's be friends and chat. I love it. All of them will be at Cupcake Creations of some sort. And yeah, so I will see y'all in my next video, and I hope y'all have a terrific day. Bye!